Charlie Pierce and Ashley McBride never wanted to be that girl. 727 this morning, Gino Aragon here. It is Monday, uh, of course, Monday tax day. If you didn't realize that, yeah, your taxes are indeed due today. And uh, I've already asked for an extension because there's a one particular form that I have not received yet. And apparently they said they'll get it to me sometime this week. But uh, they also said that a few weeks ago. So we'll see how that goes. But yes, today is tax day and the IRS apparently says one out of every six Americans believes that it's okay to cheat on your taxes. Now, I have always thought that, uh, is it really cheating or is it being creative if, if you're taking advantage of deductions that are basically already there? They're in there. They're in the tax code. So if you're utilizing the tax code, is it really cheating? Or if you're just straight up cheating because you got paid under the table on a lot of things and just uh, <clears throat> happened to forget about that cash, then, you know, maybe it's one of those things. But that brings us to our, well, you know how this works. Time now for the question of the day, brought to you by Painted Skies Dental Center, online at paintedskiesdental.com. That's right. Our question of the day is uh, plain and simple. Do you think it's okay to cheat on your taxes, or is it just being creative right now? Yeah. Our phone lines are open on the ZA Comics hotline and text line as well, 575-523-KGRT. That's 575-523-5478. If you want to answer that question, is uh, cheating on your taxes okay or is it just being creative? Yeah. Of course, we are also up on our socials. We've got our KGRT Facebook page up, uh, the YouTube page, the Twitter page, and I decided to go ahead and throw this up on my personal page as well. So we'll see exactly how that goes. But that is our question of the day. Is it okay to cheat on your taxes or is it just being creative? Hmm? Go ahead and uh, let me know and uh, we'll have a little bit of fun with that. And of course, what's trending coming up in just a bit as well. Hi, it's Jenny from Big Deals. With some okay, we are good with that one now. So now we are just up on uh, online. And uh, I, I was kind of serious about this. Uh, would it be cheating on your taxes if you just got creative with the tax code? That's what I want to know, because there are people and uh, accountants that make a living off of uh, doing exactly that. So once again, you can still go ahead and call in on the Zia Comics uh, hotline or text line. Send me a text on that one. Or if, uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, do our Facebook comments as well. Like I said, I put this up on my personal page as well. And it looks like we already... I uh, got a couple of messages on our text line. No, if you get caught, you'll get what you deserve. Oh, that is a rule follower for sure. And just to let you know, I do have a tendency to follow the rules, whether I like it or not. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, not okay to cheat, but maybe a little creative. I don't know. If you have any comments, definitely go ahead and uh, let us know. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look and see uh, kind of what is uh, trending for our day today. Take a look at that. Let's see. Oh, I see. Yes, today is tax day. Washington Examiner says it takes 6.5 billion hours each year to prepare tax returns. And then you wonder why uh, people like to, uh, you know, fudge things a little bit. Uh, see that says over 1 million Americans have unclaimed tax refunds going back all the way back to 2018. The IRS is holding 1.5 billion in unclaimed tax refunds. Have you checked with your accountants on that one for sure? And I heard that Blake Shelton celebrated Easter yesterday by having a little fun and dressing up in a full-length pink bunny costume. He wore the pink bunny slippers and his family uh, cheered. Uh, Blake captioned a video of himself with Happy Easter, everybody. You're welcome. I, I like it when artists can have a little bit of fun with themselves and just, uh, well, you know, be silly. Although um, I've threatened for years to wear a bunny outfit for Halloween because bunnies, bunnies can be scary. Yeah. Steven Spielberg, Quincy Jones, Oprah Winfrey, they are going to produce a remake of The Color Purple. Stephen Colbert musical uh, director John Batiste is going to star in the film as a piano man named Grady. So, yeah, that would be interesting. And once again, I'm going to, you know, bag on Hollywood just a little bit. Come on with some new ideas already. You know, stop uh, re reinventing the other ones. and. I think we're going to end up uh, with Ukrainians have started a crowdfunding campaign where they are making donations for 
fighter jets. Wow. One pilot made a video where he said, uh, buy me a fighter jet and it will help me to protect my sky filled with Russians planes that bomb my land, kill my friends and destroy our homes with everything. And so they are actually crowdfunding opportunities to get them some uh, jets. Well, you got to do what you got to do for sure. And uh, once again, our question of the day, is it okay to cheat on your taxes or are you just being a little creative on that? Uh, once again, we got that one answer that says, no, cheating is not good. If you get caught, you'll get what you deserve. If you've got an opinion, go ahead and leave those comments on our Facebook page. You can leave the comments on my personal page as well, YouTube and Twitter as well. So there you go. Your question of the day. We'll see you tomorrow with a new question.